Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Infernac Universe Nucleus from the Transformers Legacy United line from Hasbro. So if you can't tell right off the bat, this is a repaint slash retool of Magnus from the first wave. Nice picture of the vehicle mode here on the front. Nice picture of the robot mode here on the side. Still have the open window here where you can reach in and see the figure. Some of the other lines have gotten back to plastic windows. I don't know why Transformers hasn't yet. Uh, over here on this side, we have half of the mural for United. Not really much going on here on the bottom. Up here, just have the Legacy United logo. And spinning it around to the back, we have some nice product shots of the robot mode and the vehicle mode. And of course, like the other Rock Lords, you can take them all apart and make armor for the other figures. I'm not going to showcase that here because it's going to work very similar to Magnus since it's the same mold. So we've seen that already, but they do have a picture here of it uh, connected to Exilion, or I guess Cybertron Universe Hotshot. Uh, and it has the Armorizers logo there, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look. Here is Nucleus out of the packaging, and I got to say, this is a pretty cool repaint slash retool. I think they did a really good job with this. And honestly, there's a lot different going on between the two, and we'll get into that in a moment. But first, I just want to take a quick look at Nucleus here. First off, I love this head sculpt. I think this is so fun. I love the detailing. Got elements of like a knight's helmet, but also really reminds me of like an old school Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. I love the blue there for the visor. You have some nice gold there as well. Silver for the faceplate. Just a really cool overall design. And that head, of course, can rotate from side to side. Really nice silver paint here on the chest with a little bit of gold as well. Some gold paint here on the shoulders. Really nice silver down here for the crotch area. Again, a little bit of gold here on the kneecaps. Gold here on the sides as well, and then down here on the feet with a little bit of silver as well. Just all in all, it's a really sharp looking figure, and I think the colors they use really work. You have the different tones of gray with kind of the off-white, the silver, the gold. Just all of it really, really works. I like it a lot. Now, he does start off in the packaging with these pieces here on the back of the arms. Personally, I don't like them there. I like to move them down here to the back of the legs. And I believe I have these backwards, so let me put this one on here. And you just pop these off, and you can see that there are these little tab slots here and here. And then you have these tabs here. And it, I just think it works better because it, it declutters the arms, but also fills in the back of the leg so that they seem a little bit more solid. So I really appreciate that they can do that. And it was the same with Magnus. And then he's got this kind of rocket club, which I think is really neat. And of course, you can take the uh, windshield piece here off of the back, where it naturally stores, and put that here on the back of the forearm as a shield once you've removed those other pieces. So definitely have a couple options here for how you want to deck out the figure, which I think is pretty cool. I like this quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this back here, because I kind of like the look of it more on the back. But I do really like the rocket club. Now, I do want to show off, of course, his comparison with Magnus. So you can see here just how different these really are. Now, of course, they both have completely different head sculpts. But you can see here that the detailing here on the chest is different. Uh, this for the pretty much the crotch plate is similar. But you can see here uh, the like knee guards are different. The feet are different. All of this molding here in the like shin area is different. Over here on the sides is molded different. Of course, the windshield's different. You can see these backpack pieces are completely different. Uh, even the shoulder pads, as you can see here, are very different. And he even has these pieces here on the front, on the sides of the head, that he does not have. Honestly, if I'm looking at this, I want to say the abdomen section and the crotch section and probably the thighs. That's really about it. Well, the forearms as well. So from the forearms and the hands, well... Yeah, they're the same. But I mean, it's more than 50% of this thing has been remolded. So I think that's really cool. While it is sharing that same base mold, transformation is very similar. A lot of remolding went on here. And I feel like they look like different enough characters. You know, the color schemes are so wildly different. So much remolding that even though they do have that same base mold, they don't really just look like the same character. They do feel like two completely unique characters. I think that's really, really cool. Nucleus's articulation is very similar to Magnus's. Again, we have the head being able to swivel from side to side. You can rotate the arms up and down because they are able to unpeg as part of the armorizer 
gimmick. You can hinge out to the side there. You have a bicep swivel under that, right above the 90 degree elbow bend. And then you actually have a ball joint here in the wrist. So when it's out to the side, I mean, obviously it can move side to side, but I think they just did that so they can bring it in for the transformation. But it does, you know, kind of give you some funky movement if you want it because of that ball joint there. You have a waist swivel kick pretty far forward but unfortunately because of the way he has the higher like knee pads that's going to hit in to the crotch area but if you kind of like bring it up and then you can kind of achieve it uh you can kick out to the side no problem kick back absolutely no issue whatsoever and then you have a swivel there right above the knee which is used for transformation but you can easily get 90 degrees uh if you have the pieces connected here on the back if you take those off, you can get a little bit more. Obviously, that's how it transforms, so it can do the full 180. Uh, you also have some front-to-back movement here because of the transformation if you want to use it for the ankle. But then, of course, you have your typical ankle tilt as well. So, really nice articulation for this guy. And I'm just kind of blown away. The more I am, you know, playing with him, I just really, really like all of the design and the color scheme. And he's really growing on me. Very, very cool. And real quick, I just thought it'd be fun to do a little group shot of all the Rock Lords that we have so far. Obviously, these two are repaint slash remolds of each other. And I know we have one coming for Boulder Crash in Wave 4. I wouldn't be surprised if one for Shard is not far behind. It may have already even been announced and I'm just forgetting it off the top of my head. But honestly, I'm going to put it out there. There is a Micromaster base that is a very similar helicopter to Shard. I want to say it's like tan and purple. Just for fun, I would love to see Shard repainted as that, even though it wouldn't have any compatibility with MicroMasters or anything, just as kind of a weird deep cut repaint. I think that'd be really fun. But whatever they decide to do with Shard, I'm sure will be great. It's a great mold, and the color scheme for Shard is already fantastic, but I'm sure a repaint is coming. Uh, I think there's even another repaint of this mold in like a Walmart pack with Thundertron. So... You know, they're going to keep these guys going for a bit. But it's been a really fun little sub-collection here. Subline, whatever we want to call it. Uh, the Rock Lords have impressed me a lot more than I originally thought they were going to. When they first announced them, the concept of, you know, rocky-looking vehicles I thought was weird. And it's still weird, but it's proven to be a lot of fun. So if you're familiar with the way Magnus transforms, Nucleus is going to transform exactly the same way with a few subtle differences. I'm going to start by taking the rocket mallet and separating that down the center into its two components and we'll put that off to the side. Then I have to come around the back and remove these pieces here and we'll put them off to the side for now as well. So we're going to start off by kind of unhooking the shoulder pieces here. They'll kind of rock out to the side then this whole section will unsnap and rotate upwards and it can be a little stiff but that just kind of pops up and then you have to bring this up and it will all kind of fill this all in you can see everything's lined up here then we're going to take let me zoom out here so we can see then we're going to take these sections and they will pop out to the side make sure the arm isn't in the way and then you're going to rotate the head down into the chest cavity, like so. Then we're going to straighten out the arms. These are going to rotate in. At the same time, you need to take the fist and push it up and then rotate it so that it will, once this is folded in, sit flush with the rest of the vehicle mode, just like that. Repeat the process over here. So flip this up, rotate it 90 degrees, fold this all the way in, like that. And then that's all lined up. Then you're going to come to the legs, straighten them out. If you have the ankle tilt engaged, make sure that's all straight. And then just completely snap them together all the way down, including the feet. Then you're going to pop these up and kind of push them in so that they sit flush against the shins. And then you're just going to use the knee articulation to flip this in and this should all line up like that. Then we can take these pieces and pop them back onto the sides here. I think this one goes over here like that. And this goes here like that. 
Then to attach the rocket pieces, this is actually kind of neat. So you'll see that there is a small little hole on this side and that is for the handle. You're gonna actually slide that in and then this little tab right here is going to peg on right there. So you kind of have to wedge that down so that it can get in there. Then this will line up and then you can peg that where this goes like so. And then the other one just very simply drops on and pegs on as well. And then we have our fully decked out rocket car. I like this a lot. It's kind of absurd. If anyone remembers the car that Homer designed in that one episode, it's giving me vibes of that. I think just because of how big it is out the back. Uh, but I like it. I mean, again, you have a lot more gold here in this form with the gold windshield here. A little bit of gold here as well. You have this gold here that really wasn't present in the robot form for kind of the grill, which I think looks really cool. And then all of the gold down here really shines along with the silver, which looks really good. And then you have these two massive rocket boosters here in the back. Rolls pretty well. Just a really fun, goofy looking design. Uh, plus it's a rock it car. Get it? See what I did there? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Magnus. Now they're a little bit more, I would say, similar in this mode. You can kind of see in terms of like the vehicle modes and everything like that. You know, there's not nearly as many differences. Obviously the kind of roof and windshield sections are different and you have that little bit protruding the grill is different. But overall, the shape is a lot more similar than in the robot mode. Now, of course, Magnus doesn't have the giant rocket booster on the back. But yeah, still very cool. I like this a lot, and I think the two of them look good together. Definitely have, you know, more of a off-road kind of pickup truck-esque look to this guy, whereas this guy's fully decked out in this crazy uh, rocket booster like, I don't know, fancier. Maybe it's just the color scheme, I don't know, but it just feels like this one's more rugged, this one's a bit fancier. I actually really like this guy a lot. When I first saw him announced, I have to admit, I was a little bummed that we're already getting into repaints and remolds at Wave 3. I kind of thought it would take a little bit longer to do that, you know, we'd get a couple individual molds for the Rock Lords. Um, but honestly, they changed enough that I feel like it really does feel like a unique character. I absolutely love that head sculpt. I think that's really fun. The color scheme's great. And when we talk about the remolding, I mean, the shoulder pads, this collar section here, the chest area, you know, the accessory is new, the pretty much the entire legs. I mean, this, the kneecaps, the shin area, this piece on the side, the feet. I would say it's really just the midsection, the crotch area, and the thighs, and then the forearms and hands. But it's a lot that's been remolded, and again, I just think it looks really, really fun. I love the vehicle mode. It definitely feels different enough from Magnus's vehicle mode. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of blown away. Like I said, I really wasn't expecting to like this guy as much as I do, but having him in hand, I think he's a lot of fun. I really, really like him quite a bit, and I definitely think he's worth checking out. Now, Wave 3 is kind of a shorter wave. We only have three deluxes this time around, but I definitely think this guy should be on your radar because he's really a lot of fun. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always... Thanks so much for watching.